Uh, we had never put a man into space. We did not have the life support system developed or the physiological monitoring system developed. I didn't go there uh, thinking that we had left anything off because I, I love life. Going up to 120,000 feet in a pressurized capsule hanging underneath a helium balloon. Rather dangerous situation. They were ahead of the time. A lot of people tried it. Some of them failed to set up the right team. 50 years ago, I made a jump from uh, 20 miles from the edge of space. This year, Phyllis Bumgarner is going to jump from 24 miles at the edge of space. There's a lot of similarities between Felix and I. When I was a little kid, I had only one dream, and that was a dream about flying. I'm the one who's putting myself in a pressure suit. Um, I'm going to lock myself in a pressure capsule. I'm going up to 120,000 feet. He pressurized the capsule, and I climb out of the capsule and step off. Within the first 35 seconds, I should be able to break the speed of sound. We want to break four major records. My record was set many years ago. It's obvious that it should be beaten scientific aspect of this project. The main objectives for this project, for the Red Bull Stratus program, is really to collect the technical data to understand egress at high altitude. What we're going to gain is a lot of valid information for the future, for future space projects. Red Bull Stratus is really a team effort. We uh, will be collecting physiologic data. So my role is to uh, provide a safe, healthy environment. There's a lot of scenarios for what can go wrong. We have to do a lot of test jumps just to make sure our equipment works properly. What you worry about the most is what you have not anticipated. The engineering is done, the capsule is done, the balloons are complete. We have them sitting to the side. It's just pulling all the components together, getting all the final testing, and making sure we meet our weather windows, because weather is a big factor. And the only connection that I have to the Earth is Joe's voice on the radio in my helmet. Joe, he's the only one who has been there and done that. I'm involved daily in the training, uh, Felix, and the uh, technical problems associated with it because I've been there. I've made five high altitude balloon flights. Uh, I've made three jumps from space. So I have the background. He was my childhood hero. He knows exactly what to do and I feel totally confident to pull this off.